Keeping your overhead crane in service and in peak operating condition is a top priority for you, us, and OSHA. So what happens when there's an incident with your overhead crane and OSHA gets called? What do you do to fix the situation? And how do you keep it from happening again? In this episode of the OSHA Inspection Series, we're covering overhead cranes. For safety, maintenance, or operations personnel at any job site or industry facility, keeping your crane OSHA compliant is crucial. So in this video, we'll be covering what goes into a crane inspection, the importance of documentation, and how you can keep yourself and your cranes on the right side of OSHA. From crane service technician to service manager, Billy Poe Jr. knows the ins and outs of keeping your overhead cranes OSHA compliant. So let's see what he has to say. OSHA would be there if a random audit, um, if someone calls an anonymous complaint, or the one that we don't like is a fatality. They're coming to see documentation, the records you have on file, the repairs that you have done from your inspection, crane training, going everything over everything that an operator deals with and the hazards they deal with involving a crane. The most common crane violations that I see um, frequently is understanding the difference between a frequent and a periodic inspection. And with that, it's just the runtime. 100 hours is for a frequent, 500 hours for a periodic. And looking at that table that OSHA has online states the difference of what each of our technicians go through between a frequent and a periodic inspection. For customers to keep documentation of the cranes is very important um, in case a situation arises. If OSHA comes in to do an audit or if we have a near miss or an injury, having that documentation showing that you are proactive with the repairs that you got from your inspections, having the documentation over the years, being proactive with it, covering everything that needs to be taken care of, all of that consistency of that documentation going through it keeps you OSHA compliant. How to stay OSHA compliant with your cranes is to follow the regulations by OSHA, ANSI, all those sectors that cover overhead cranes. So after an OSHA audit, we get a phone call. We would walk in there and look at what stages we see that are good and what can be changed. We would come in there and recommend, um, looking at the inspection schedule, what repairs that need to be done, the repairs that are required to cover the safety of the crane and the operation of the crane. Are you looking for more information on overhead crane inspections? Click here to download Mozilla's pre-inspection checklist. Plus, you can head over to our OSHA inspection series playlist to watch all of our other episodes. All those links are down in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you have any questions or just want to say hi. Once again, my name is Kay, and I'll see you later.